Number 60, find the total capacitance of the combination in the following figure. All right. Uh, by the way, check out number 57. Uh, I went through a little detailed discussion about how to look about you know, how to look uh, through series and parallel uh, capacitors. So I'm going to kind of, you know, apply this technique a little faster now. So when I look at this, I have to know, I know I have to break this down into a single capacitance. So, you know, choose a start, certain start point and choose an end point. Note that the, and then just pretend like there's some flow of charge, you know, happening through this, okay? What I realize is that, you know, I basically have two parallel sides to this. I have this whole side being in parallel to this whole side, right? So I got a parallel arrangement there, but I also have at the same time, I have a series arrangement between these two. Now, what I like to do is I like to work with one element at a time. I kind of, I, I need to break this down into a single element, to then be able to analyze the overall parallel system. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the essentially equivalent capacitance of this series arrangement. These two are in series because as the in order for the charge, so to speak, to flow to the second one, it has to flow through the first one. All right, just think about flow. You can think about water charge. It doesn't really matter. It just helps you kind of uh, identify what series in parallel. So now, I know the formula here for series. It's 1 over the capacitance in series. The total capacitance in series, that is, is going to be equal to 1 over the first capacitance plus 1 over the second and however many other ones you had in series. Since I only have two, I'm going to stop there. So it's basically 1 over 0 0.3 microfarads. Now, by the way, you can leave this in microfarads. Just make sure that whatever units you have, they're all consistent. All right, you're adding things together, so the units really does not matter, but you got to got to have the same units. You can't be adding microfarads to, you know, kilofarads or whatever. So this is then 1 divided by 10 now. Simply take out that calculator and plug that in. So 1 over 0.3 plus 1 over 10. And we get about 4 point, we get about 4.43, uh, right? No, 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 3.43. What the heck am I talking about? 3.43. 3.43. And this is then going to be in terms of microfarads. All right. Now remember, this is not the final answer. You got to solve this for, you know, the capacitance in series. So basically, you got to do a little cross multiplication. So it's then going to be one over three point four three, is equal to then the total in the series, and then plug that on into the calculator. So one divided by that answer, zero point two nine. Zero point two nine. I guess we'll go out one more one, and that's in microfarad. Okay. Notice here that the total series capacitance is less than any of the individual capacitors there. That's always true for series. Now let's do, so now let's redraw this particular circuit, we could call it, whatever, arrangement of capacitors. Who cares what it's called? As long as we get it right. Now it's going to look something like this, where this total capacitance on the left-hand side, I can write now as if it were acting like a single 0.291 microfarad capacitor. Okay? And now the part on the right-hand side, I didn't touch yet. So I'm just going to rewrite that. And that was 2.5. Let me just write that. Capacitance, right? Capacitance is equal to 2.5 microfarads. So now if you notice, when I combined these two in series, I got it down to one single unit. And now look at how nice this particular circuit looks now. Or arrangement of capacitors. I keep using circuit. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Who cares, right? as long as we get it right. So here, notice these two are in parallel. How do I know that they're in parallel? Well, I think about, like I said, like water flowing or something like that. In order to get to, let's say, this capacitor, it did not have to flow through this one, meaning that if the water came down, it would go both ways, and it would flow through each capacitor simultaneously without needing to go through one to get to the other. That's a parallel arrangement. So once I know that I have a very simple parallel arrangement, I know now I am going to be using my formula for adding parallel capacitors. It's simply going to be capacitor 1 plus uh, capacitor 2 plus then however many you got in parallel. Okay. And why don't we now do this? So capacitor 1 here was the 0.291 plus then the second one, which is 2.5. Obviously, it does not matter which way you do it. Uh, but this would simply come out to be 2.791. And that's now in microfarads. Now notice this, you know, final value is larger than any of the two capacitors in parallel. That's always going to be true. 
okay, for capacitors. It's going to be flipped on you when you get to resistors, so just keep that in mind. Um, and now, basically, what I found is that this whole complicated arrangement of capacitors is basically identical to this. One single capacitor with a value of 2.791 microfarads. And that's the answer. Guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Hit that like button too. Please, 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 please. Thank you.